Welcome Pisces to your mid-October love reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So this beautiful table is by my sister Bobby. So a big thank you to her. Feel free to check out her IG page at Trendy Trimmings. I will leave the link down below. Okay, so how we do things here is we're going to use the Soul Card Tarot deck to, to use for the spread. And then we are going to pull the hidden truth messages from your person. I am going to clarify using this amazing deck, which is called the uh, Dark Mansion Tarot. All right, beautiful art on there. So let's go ahead and get started with the reading and see what is coming in. Now keep in mind, this reading may not resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. All right, Pisces, we have the Five of Wands energy. Okay. We have the Two of Swords. Oh, wow. The Five of Swords. Okay. The Devil. Okay, something definitely is going on in this connection. Definitely. We do have the Lovers. Okay. Oh, we have the Tower here. The Queen of Swords energy. The Queen of Pentacles and judgment five of wands ten of cups death three of swords the knight of swords seven of swords this reading is intense very intense here let's go ahead we have codependency number 31 all right contract somebody could be married within the situation we also have divine timing number 11 so the divine is on your side a lot of protection here for you guys now we are just going to go ahead and get started there's something here with this five of wands energy which is causing a lot of conflict this could be a lot of challenges within the situation arguments disagreements not seeing eye to eye we do have the ten of cups so this could be all about a family dynamic um this could be you know your happiness here okay now with this codependency card doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be codependency but there could be something linking you guys together here are feeling handcuffed okay so even though you guys could be feeling that pulling of walking away there could be something here still linking you together all right <clears throat> there's that double there okay and the challenge so i'm feeling that's more connected to the double energy you could be avoiding somebody right now or maybe not um addressing uh something that's happening this could be a very stagnant situation here maybe you're seeing right through some manipulation with this five of swords energy in this person's mind uh the, i mean position here now this is all about the mind so I feel like there's no communication coming in your end or all together. This five of swords can be a lot of manipulating here. Um, not playing fair in a way. Okay. The devil in the challenge is very, very toxic. Now the devil is either somebody's releasing toxicity or things are getting pretty heavy. Um, there's a lot of manipulation, could be obsession, addictions, or, you know, again, some type of betrayal here as we have the seven of swords here. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You don't have to be, but we do have air. So it feels like somebody's very cold within this reading here. Both of you guys could be cold. We do have the lov lovers in the mutual. So what this is stating to me with this contracts, okay, on the bottom, this could be a marriage or something with contracts here, okay? Yeah, it's definitely a separation, but definitely something here that is linked, that, you, that you're linked with, okay? Um, that's for some of you, but this also is a separation, okay? There's a lot of emotions, a love at one point that probably felt unbreakable, but now there's a separation occurring due to some toxicity, which is clearly the devil. And the seven of swords, some sneakiness, not being truthful, someone not having the best intentions. The tower is here. Now, the tower is things that happen unexpectedly, um, something that you didn't expect happen, and that can be this person also, okay? But I feel like the situation, this could have been a past tower moment or something you're currently in or coming out of. The tower, again, is unexpected change, disruption, things that, you know, just caught you off guard, could be blindsided in a way, and the queen of swords is coming in here, okay? 
we are going to clarify. The Queen of Swords is something, someone that is very logical, someone who can be very cold, like doesn't want any BS, only wants the truth, nothing but the truth, and literally put the emotions aside and be direct and honest in communication. That's what I feel here with this Queen of Swords. That's what she represents. Um, so I feel like some, uh, again, I feel a lot of cold um, here, and it all has to do with this Ten of Cups. I mean, there's a lot of happiness here that now a tower you know, has occurred. So something is interfering with this Ten of Cups, which is this happily ever after card. Queen of Pentacles is coming in on what you don't see coming. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this could be your energy. Doing things on your own, you could be feeling very overwhelmed at this time. You could be taking on a lot of responsibilities um, here. But this Queen of Pentacles stands very strong in her power, right, male or female, and they will take on the responsibility if they have to. This is not a queen of pentacles who really gets knocked down easily. They're naturally independent and really don't need anyone. So I love that energy. We do have judgment, so a big awakening is coming in for you guys. Possibly some second chances are a final judgment call, all right? This is more feeling pulled to the future here for Pisces. Now, this also means choices. Now we do have the death, so endings are on the table here, okay? This also could be transition, um, however, but I feel like this is a very hard ending that is occurring, possibly a third party situation or some type of betrayal or just a very hard breakup in some sort. Somebody could be very impulsive, not really thinking of their actions when making and having a pretty bad intentions here with the seven of swords energy. Let's see, the temperance, yeah. There's some struggles here. There's an unbalance, but I feel like the whole purpose of this reading, right, is this Ten of Cups. Honestly, this is what matters is the happiness, okay? This could be your family, putting your, hap your family first within the Ten of Cups as you're standing so strong with the Queen of Pentacles. Let's go ahead and clarify for Pisces. Look at that. We have the Emperor on the bottom of the deck. Could be dealing with an Aries. Um, let's get this Five of Wands energy. Queen of Swords, yes. See, that Queen of Swords energy is <laughs> that Five of Wands. Couldn't be more clear. This is challenges, but this is you seeing clearly. This is you not wanting to deal with the BS, okay? This is this is a, a Queen of, of Swords, sorry about that, who uh, is very honest when she communicates. Um, she could be very cold, yes but I feel like you're more defending yourself because you're not wanting to play any games, okay? As we have here, uh, I feel like you're standing really, really strong here when it comes to these arguments or these challenges um, or disagreements. However, let's get this two of wands energy. I mean, two of swords, two of wands. This is feeling at a crossroads, really not really knowing what directions to take. So I feel like that you could, you know, could be putting this um, on hold right now as you're standing so strong again, right? Uh, because there's a crossroads, it's a pause before making a decision, before taking action to move forward. So I do feel like there is uh, something going on, okay? Something's definitely going on here. Let's see the five of wands. Hangman, stagnant. Yeah, this could be surrendering mode also, but a change of perspective. But, you know, this is more of moving forward here with this hangman. Um, let's see this devil. Two of pentacles. Yeah, someone could be going back and forth from, you know, wanting to just completely start over to going back to their toxic ways. So it's like juggling with the idea of something new or a fresh start and toxicity. Okay, there's there's something here. Um, it's like something's pulling this, uh, it feels like a pool. As you can see, like they're juggling either with emotions, with decisions, however. But it's like a back and forth of emotion of like dark and light, dark and light. Okay, let's see the lovers. Death. This feeling like a very unexpected ending, okay? Um, for a lot of you guys, the Five of Cups is a lot of sadness and grief in uh, here with this Five of Cups. Um, depression, okay? And this is in the mutual energies. 
something maybe haven't ended yet or something could be ending or someone fearing that it's about to end here. That could be your person. But again, it all has to do with love. Okay. Let's see this Ten of Cups energy. The Empress. That is you, the goddess of the deck. Okay, you could have children as you're, you know, concentrating on your children, your happiness, your family, giving your your energy to, you know, what matters right now that, you know, you could be very overwhelmed at this time. However, but the Ten of Cups is you, you could be, again, a mother, um, a parent even, right, uh, a parent, but the Empress takes responsibility. She has unconditional love. Um, and I feel like that has to do with that Ten of Cups energy, okay? We do have the tower coming in. So let's see what this tower is. That hermit, Ten of Wands. Now, this tower is could be feeling like a burden of some sort, but this is going within, within the answers, okay? So there's some type of withdrawal here. Um... The hermit is, you know, someone could be resisting change, but the hermit is is more of having all the answers. So this is more of doing a lot of soul searching at this time during a tower moment uh, as it could be weighing heavy on you or this individual. Let's get this queen of swords. Justice. That's that contracts. Okay. So... Again, if this is a marriage, it looks, you know, there, there could be some contracts here. Maybe somebody just currently got separated and now single at this time. Um, but the Nine of Pentacles is more that independence card. Okay, right? This is, this is feeling whole within yourself. So a lot of you guys could have left a situation or in separation here to now, you know, being more on that independent side of things. Um, I feel it's that fight or flight and I feel like you're choosing to fight <laughs> okay because you're just standing so strong I, I this this situation could have been you know many years or years or, or even something um, within months right that could have occurred the nine of wands energy someone's needing to protect their heart here and I feel that is you um, going towards the new beginning, starting fresh here. The fool is leaving the past behind and having the confidence to move forward. Um, and that's what I feel like you don't see coming. And that's why I feel like that fight uh, to continue to, if you are a parent, to take on responsibilities, to continue to provide and do what you have to do. Um, cause there's, there's definitely some toxicity. Uh, someone's ego is here at play to which cause a lot of conflict and challenges within the situation. Um, and I feel like you're just standing so strong and the fool is more of just going on, uh, you know, going down the journey that is best for you here. Okay. Now let's get the judgment card. Ooh. Now we did, I did see the ace of, uh, cups. So that means self-love, okay? That could be um, a recommitment to love, but we'll see. Three of Wands. There's that choice. Okay, you could be, yeah. So I feel like it's here, like right here, I have to stop, right? Clarifying. Um, because judgment is more of the future calling you. This is an awakening. This is about choices. This is your angel sending you synchronicity. So this is you being honest with yourself, okay? Um, and also this is renewal. So it's the final judgment. And I feel like you are making a judgment call and moving forward here, okay? Let's see what's on the bottom. There could be some confusion, but we do have the Eight of Cups. All right, so someone could be emotionally walking away, listening to their intuition and going more towards their desires. Um, again, that death card is coming in pretty strong and so is judgment. Very strong reading here for Pisces. Let's get the hidden truth messages. I miss seeing you, I admire you. I trusted you. I find you so attractive. So there's definitely, you know, definitely someone's missing you in this situation. Um, I trusted you. You know, that could be more of putting, pointing the fingers and not really taking responsibility and, you know, again, blaming things on you here. Um, but this person definitely could be feeling regret or 
something within the situation because there was a lot of happiness and or is a lot of happiness or some type of ten of cups energy here with the lovers i mean that's a lot of emotions cause possibly a lot of history within the situation now let's go ahead and get the divine love oracles detachment Ener energetically detaching our cord cutting can free your soul from bondage now tarot can change at any time okay but this is a message that needed to come out for someone we do have karmic cycle so yeah this could be uh, uh karmic lessons here um someone has to learn this invaluable life lesson to set their soul free so soul like can free your soul set your soul free there, there's a lot of uh breakthroughs coming in here okay fear fear is creating a delay in the forward progression of this partnership and self-esteem someone is questioning their self-worth or and or abilities now let's get the card for you guys just for you an oracle and see what spirit wants you to know right now so we are going to pull a card from the sacred forest oracle knowledge Ooh, i like that look at that air spirit love okay this is actually really beautiful so i am going to read the message it's a very short quick message um, from the book so let's go ahead and read that so it says the spirit of air says Inhale, take a moment to think things through. Think as well as feel the right direction. Get clarity and become focused before stepping forth. Take care to have thoughtful communication with others. All right, so that is the message here. So I do feel like you do have a lot of knowledge. You instinctively know what is happening within the situation. I feel like you have a lot of knowledge within your life, life lessons, um, your experiences, it's synchronicities uh, probably coming towards you. So I feel like you are um, very spiritual wise when it comes to the situation, definitely. So I am gonna go ahead and leave it here for you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this message or if it helped or resonated in any way, please like, comment, or subscribe. And I will see you guys very soon. God bless.